What is going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new custom tactics video on the channel. I know you love them boys and I know uh, they're pretty pretty helpful especially after EA Sports releases these new patches. Also in my opinion from game to actually from week to week the tactics need to be adjusted a bit. We get new players, better players and uh, the teams, the squads just feel different on the pitch of course before we get started make sure to drop a like if you're enjoying this type of content on the channel i've selected today for you three formations that i love using the most after the patch if you want to get cheap and reliable coins go check the best place on the market fifacoin.com with super fast delivery time and make sure to use the code ov for extra discount link is in the description uh, we are going to start with a classic, classic 4-2-3-1. And uh, remember, the biggest change after the patch is the fact that supposedly players can't use that constant pressure that much. Uh, the stamina will be affected like with 41% more than uh, it used to be before. Uh, the impact in the game, I don't think is that big. I think it's like maybe 10, 15 uh, percent. That's kind of it. I haven't felt... Uh, I haven't felt like opponents that put constant pressure for minute 30 uh, really had 41% less stamina, like eSports says, but okay, let's let's take it like that. So, 4, 2, 3, 1, and what we're going to change uh, in the formations uh, will be the depth. Uh, it will be a bit harder to put pressure on the opponent without using that much pressure, pressure press after possession loss and uh, team press and constant pressure. Pressure. So we're gonna up the defender line a bit. Uh, I ask you here, make sure you have two strong center backs in all of your formations. Um, you might not have coins, okay, for PK rule breaker. I've got Virgil van Dijk. Uh, you can go for an Eder Militao. There are options, but make sure the center backs, they're very important to be strong. So 4 2 3 1 with the central attacking midfielder uh, who plays as a jolly joker, in my opinion was is and will be almost always a top three top five formation in the game it is extremely hard to play against because you have a top defense and also it's hard to play against because it is hard to counter at times if you have if you know how to use a central attack and midfielder for example harry kill right here uh, opponent is going to be in trouble so defensive style balanced team with 45 in defense defense so a bit narrow that will be 60 build up play balance chance creation balanced with in attack 55 players in the box six and now corner kicks depending on which corner kick technique you want to approach uh, you can go one two three or four uh, the one gives you the short pass and then two more passes outside and you start the trivella uh, the four gives you a short pass then immediate cross there are variations you can find them on youtube on my channel so between one and four uh, that's personal preference now in terms of instructions stay back while attacking for the full backs also um make sure here to try from time to time uh, the d-pad will get forward for the full backs uh, that's up and left on the d-pad uh, that will uh, offer you the opportunity to manually select the moments of the, in the game when you want your full backs to join uh, the attack and you're gonna be better in, in attack but a bit riskier in your defense uh, both of your cdms uh, stay back while attacking and cover center come back on defense for the three center attacking midfielders get into the box for a cross aggressive interceptions for the right attacking midfielder left attacking midfielder and i will have that also for the center attacking midfielder those aggressive interceptions lately seem to be very interesting getting behind for the striker also for those long over the head balls now we do have four triple two as the next formation lovely people are actually saying that without discussion this may be the number one this season but uh, honestly i've seen pros play a variety of formations four triple two four four two uh four two three one not that much four three one two four one two and two narrow so in four triple two we've got defensive style balanced team with 45 depth 60 balanced and forward runs Always check direct passing if it suits your style more. Team with 60, players in the box 6, corner kicks and free kicks. Again, between 1 and 4, depending on your corner kick style. Uh, next, we've got the fullbacks, stay back while attacking. 
pretty simple stay back while attacking cover center for the two cdms come back on defense get into the box for a cross and aggressive interceptions for both of our central attacking midfielders and now i have stay central on both strikers but i use getting behind only for one of them uh, you pick the player that you have in your squad that is better for these overhead balls and have getting behind for him last but not least we've got this is still my personal favorite because you could do you can do the german cross like they call it even though i know it for like 15 16 17 years since fifa 06 man it's been so long now they call it the german cross uh, you also got a tutorial about it on the channel on the ov clips uh, secondary channel works amazing when you got two cms you just you just put the ball for example you've got fofana you trigger the run of kessie fast pass to kewel cross to kessie that gets in the in the box i've been scoring a lot of goals like this and i this is why i use the 442 this is why i love it it's like a 4 triple 2 but offers more control while having possession of the ball uh, defensive style balance steam with 40 45 here you already have a wide formation depth 65 a bit risky you might go 60 but i use 65 i love to put pressure on the opponent build up play chance creation balanced and balanced i feel like i prefer to trigger the runs manually instead of forward runs and direct passing if you feel the 442 to be stalled to be boring to uh, see that your players are not making the run if you're not used to trigger manually the runs just go with four runs or direct passing they will help you but i am using balanced for this team with 55 in attack players in the box five six again corner kicks the rule is pretty simple between one and four depending on which corner kick technique you master instructions stay back while attacking for the right back stay back while attacking for the left back stay back while attacking and cover center for the two cms the right midfielder come back on defense get in behind the left midfielder come back on defense get in behind now for the two strikers it's very important right here if you have a player for example we got cristiano ronaldo right here uh, and kylian mbappe that are my strikers both of them have low defending work rate defensive work rate this is why I choose to have come back on defense for both of them. Don't imagine they will truly come back on defense and play as CMs. They will come just a few meters back, support a bit the defense, like three, four, five meters max. If you would have a striker with high medium, don't use come back on defense because he will truly start to play as a central midfielder. That's the reasoning behind me using those players uh, with come back on defense. I don't want them to be two alone players in front man to man with the center back because i like my team to act like a unit you know like a team 10 players moving like a team on the pitch that's why i select that over there so fellas uh, those are in my opinion and that's what i play my favorite formations post uh, patch 4 4 2 4 triple 2 and 4 2 3 1 drop a comment below let me know your favorite uh, formation of course, don't forget to drop a like. My name is Ovi and I'll see you fellas in the next videos. Bye-bye.